Hey, hello guys, welcome to our channel. And in this video, we will see our new Android project, uh, Blood Bank Management System. And we have did this project using SQLite database. Now let's see the output. So this is our login page, and it has uh, two fields. Either we log in or the register. So let's uh, first uh, we do the registration of the user. Yes. So in the registration field, we have different uh, fields like name, email address, contact number, address, blood group of the user. So let's enter the name. Now enter the email address. Here we have to enter the age, but uh, if uh, age is uh, less than 18, it shows the message uh, that age must be greater than 18 because for the blood donation we required uh, age uh, above 18 so if i enter 13 then it shows the age must be greater than 18 so let's enter the 25 now select the gender male is selected and the contact number must be 10 digit so let's enter Okay, so here enter the address. Then enter the city. So here we have to enter the username. So for the user authentication, so if the user is uh, username is already present in our database, then it shows the error that the uh, username already exists. So Let's enter one username that is already present in our database. So as you can see, it shows the username already exists. Now let's enter the new username. Enter the password 4567. And the password must be 4 digit. Now select the blood group. I will select a negative. As of now, we will not select I want to be a donor. So let's upload the image. Okay, so we have successfully uploaded the image. Now let's click on the register. Registration successful. Yes, so now let's log in. And password 456. So as you can see here we have successfully logged in so in this uh, we have a different kinds of fields like blood bank search donor then my profile then blood request so we will see one by one so first we see the my profile so in the my profile uh, all the details we can edit or the update now let's change the profile picture Yes, so it, it says please click on the edit button and update your profile picture. So now let's click on the edit update. So as you can see here, our uh, profile picture successfully updated. Now let's go to the blood bank. So in the blood bank, uh, we have a one video at the top. It shows the which blood group can donate to which blood group. And on the bottom side, we have two columns, blood group and the donors. So it uh, basically shows the how many number of donors available for each blood group. So for the A positive, there are two donors and uh, all that. So now, as you can see here, we have selected A negative blood group. Now go to the blood bank. So as you can see. For the A negative blood group, we have a total one blood donor. So we will see who is that one. So yes, so it is a one uh, 
donor which has a negative blood group now let's click on the edit and here we will select because they have they had selected i want to be a donor so that's why they are in the search donor module now select the i want to be a donor and click on update yes so it says uh, our details are updated successfully now go to the blood bank module so as you can see here for the inactive blood group our count is increases by one that is our uh, new user andrew is added in the inactive blood group now go to the search donor module and select a negative yes as you can see here our new user is added for the a negative blood group because we have selected i want to be a donor this is the donor list for the all the blood groups let's say b positive these are all the donors and on the on that we see the name contact number email address and the blood group of the donor says uh, do you want to contact the donor if i click yes then it go directly to the phone book to contact the donor if i click on the mail then user can also direct send a message to the user for the emergency for the blood group okay next we see the blood request module so as you can see there are no currently request are available so it says only today's request are available to all the people we can also send the request so first we go to the blood bank module then then we select the blood group and uh, we click on the send request button after that here we have to enter the reason that uh, why we are sending this request so we enter here there is an emergency for the blood group ab negative and if our previous any request uh, present in the blood request module then it will be deleted after that we click on the yes button as you can see here our uh, request is visible with the date time and the blood group that is ab negative after clicking on this it will uh, shows the message from that person if i click on the yes button then it will go to the phone book so like uh, other person also contact to this person to fulfill their needs for the blood requirement now let's see the these are the some fields which shows the uid of the user then in the health it uh, shows the information in the for the how to use this application and by clicking on the exit button we successfully log out from the application and our account will be deleted